welcome. Let's start with Meryl Streep. Let's, please, um, let's do. So, uh, so she, she said, I, th I think Apparently. she was on Graham Norton's show, and, uh, and she said, uh, oh, I love these British shows. I love. Uh, and she loved your show, named your show. Did yeah. you know she was a fan? No, not at all. And it's kind of, it's always, I mean, of course, you know, I'm sure she has to decorate her bathroom now and again like everybody else. So, yeah. you know, wonderful. I mean, we'll send her some tickets maybe to the <laughs> exhibition. She might come along. No, it, it's wonderful, isn't it, when you get sort of starstruck by somebody. And, and, and you know, I, I'm still, and my job is lovely, although it does involve standing around in muddy fields mm. on building yeah. sites. My kids say to me, you know, do you know anyone famous, Dad? I say, well... I'm going to see Holly in, isn't it? <laughs> and, you know, but... Uh, and then he said, no, do you really know anything? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, the, but the problem is, is that I, I don't actually kind of tend to move in elevated circles. And so it's lovely when that happens. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I get, I get as starstruck as anybody else. Yes. Yes. Well, the exhibition you're talking about here, this is... Uh, this has been going a long time now. It's under 12 years, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exhibition has been going for about 12 years. The shows... We've been making the show for nearly 20. My gosh. I don't we so, want to, you know, help make the planet better yeah. so um, that 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 desire that drive to make the world a better place to kind of improve our world as human yeah. beings is so primal it's so powerful in us all you know whether it's just simply buying a cushion or building a house or organizing a street party whatever it is we all want to do it and and in a sense it makes us all nerds and I am a nerd in chief of this I particular... get a bit nerdy with my house. Though. Yeah, we all do. I love it. Yeah, um, we all get a bit passionate, and I, 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 so I make no excuses for, for for wanting to, you know, share that with people. And but didn't someone say to you, a, a friend, "Oh, the exhibition is dead." Yeah, yeah. So a few years ago, still be ah, exhibitions. You, ah, yeah. Now the internet's here. Nobody wants to buy anything at exhibitions. The opposite's true. So, whereas at one point, if you wanted a very specific thing, you had to drive to the other of the country to buy it, or, or that small retailer had to find, you know, their little niche, very expensive showroom in the centre of London. Nowadays, if you're making beautiful lamps out of rusty old bits of ship, you can do that in Falmouth. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Carry can do it in Falmouth. You can, you can do that kind of weird stuff involving melting old LPs. You can do it anywhere in the country, and you can do it in an attic or a garage, and you can get online, you can flog all that stuff, and you can then show it at the exhibition. What's really interesting is that we've forgotten, haven't we, with, with the internet, we've forgotten how things feel. Yeah, tactility. No, so you never know. And the amount of times you order stuff online, they turn up and they feel completely different. Yeah, so this cushion, I look at this cushion, it looks nice. Oh, it feels exquisite. Yeah, it does. You know, and it's the same with taps, it's the same with furniture, it's the same with anything that's well made. You appreciate the quality the moment you touch it. You can't do that on a screen. So that's why exhibitions, in a way, are doing better than they ever were. And you uh, are obviously taking part in it. You're going to be up on stage doing all sorts of things. Yeah, yeah. Have you got a well fitting suit this time for when you're up on stage? Because. Well, you, you, didn't you have are a you bit wearing of dark? Like, all my are, you suits are, well. are you wearing dark underwear? Ah, no. No, that was referring. <laughs> that was yeah, you're referring <laughs> to an event. I am event. referring to something. Oh, your researchers are vicious. <laughs> I I I yeah, I said I went to a Labour Party. I didn't vote Labour. I'd like to say I'm not, not a member of the Labour Party. No, you don't, you but don't I went I did go to a Labour Party conference once to give out some awards, and John Prescott was on stage doing the awards with me, and I was wearing a dinner jacket suit, which I'd bought when I was 18, but which had been made in 1955 for somebody else. It was a bit tight around the waist. I'm and I, 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 lost, I, I dropped a piece of paper, I went to pick it up. And it was a very it was a proper 1950s suit with a really high waist and a deep gusset. <laughs> That's a good word, isn't it, Gussie? And it, <laughs> it, it ripped, word. as I bent down, it ripped... I'm so from happy this happens there, to other people. ...right up to the waistband. <laughs> oh, gosh, so what the did only, you do? The, well, I, I spent the whole... No, I spent the whole of the event sort of gently... <laughs> ..sidestepping my way across stage. But you said also... I had, no, I had white pants You on. had white pants So the on. trick... When, yeah. Uh, yeah, always have matching underwear. Just but you know, but the ladies know this. No, I oh, it happened to Holly in Downing Street. Yeah, no, it's happened to me. Zip went. It happened to me with John Prescott. There's a kind of well, politician <laughs> thing going on there. <laughs> there is. You're right. You're what's right. your um, so? What's your house like? Are you are you, are you energy? Um, what is it? Energy positive or uh, but what? Yeah. Well, or? yeah, yeah. So I'm yeah I'm I'm an early adopter. So I you know I've got an electric car and I like to experiment stuff and I like to uh, you know solar panels, hybrid photovoltaics, plumbed into a heat pump and under and all that kind of thing. And I'm I'm. And I just love, I do love technology, and if it can deliver really interesting results, and um, and so, I'm, and I'm also interested in the way that it becomes more accessible. So all the car manufacturers say by 2040 we'll all be driving electric cars. Yeah. You know, um, so with with homes in my company, we call Hab, and we, we build houses, and we pledged um, that in 2018 we're going to build our first energy positive scheme, which is a, a scheme where the houses export energy, and there's an appeal to that 
So you, you make you, you make energy, make so you, energy you fit and solar you, panels onto the house, you super insulate so them. You, you make money from those. Well, that's the really interesting thing because when you when you're not paying energy bills, and many people pay what you know, a thousand pounds a yeah, year yeah. in energy bills for heating space and heating hot water. Um, if if you haven't got that, that's an extra thousand grand in your pocket mm. for holidays and beer. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that yeah. seems to me the most a win -win interesting situation. attraction. Uh, Grand Designs Live uh, runs from the 30th of April until the 8th of May. It's at London's Excel, and it really is the go-to place for absolutely everything you want to. Oh, thank uh, you for to... saying that, Philip. It is. Well, I've looked at, I looked at what was there. I thought it was brilliant. Yeah. Really good. Thank, thank you, you very much. Lovely to see you. See you. Thank you. Thank you.